We've all fallen into a habit of thinking about adrenaline in quite a negative way, particularly when it comes to public speaking, but adrenaline is our friend. Yes, adrenaline is part of a warning system, our brain telling us you need to be careful here, there's something to watch out for, but a small amount of adrenaline it gives us an energy burst and that's really important for making a wonderful presentation where we're really present and engaging as a speaker. This next exercise will help you to start forming a new relationship with the adrenaline that's in your own body. And again, I hope that you will find it incredibly liberating when you start working in harmony with your brain and the hormones that your brain produces to help you. Acknowledge. The next time you're about to give a presentation or attend an important meeting where you'll be expected to speak, spend a few minutes noticing the physical changes in your body. You may notice a rush of energy. Your heart may start to beat a little faster than normal. Whatever you notice is normal for you. Some people experience increased perspiration. Others may notice their breathing has become faster and shallower. These are all signs that your adrenaline is surging. You may experience one of these signs, all of them, or even more. Act. Your rush of adrenaline is a sign to your body to get ready to make a great performance. Your brain has given the cue. Now it's your turn to act. Your response to your rush of adrenaline is to start your pre-talk routine. See chapter 12. Your pre-talk routine comprises any number of actions that you'll take in the moments before you step on stage. The purpose of the routine is to let your body know that you acknowledge this call to action and are about to act so it can stop producing adrenaline now. For more information or to book a coaching session, please visit my website, publicspeakingmojo.co.uk and you can order my book from Amazon or request it at your local bookshop.